So if you watched the end of my last video, you would know that I was getting back from Chicago and I was in kind of a down bad state. I just want to say doing better now. I'm up like three, four pounds. I'm floating around 181, 182 which isn't quite the 186 I was waking up back before, but we're getting there. Also, don't get me wrong, I had a great time in Chicago, and I'm so glad that Brandon invited me to do that. When I'm in Houston, I'm typically just here. My social time is if I talk to someone at the gym or if I go over to James and Brandon's house for a little bit. It's funny, because when I first knew I was gonna go, I was actually a little nervous. And I remember I was sitting here eating and I was like stressed out, like crazy stress. Something I haven't felt in a while, but once I really like chilled out and broke it down, it was stupid. I was thinking things like, what if we got robbed? Or, oh, what if we got in a wreck? Or, oh, what if we drunk drove? Or just dumb sh**. And I think what it really was is that this is my little comfort zone bubble of my apartment and of Sugar Land. And I was pushing beyond my boundaries. I really haven't traveled that much in my life. And yet, as soon as the trip started, I was having a blast with my friends. And I literally want to go back to Chicago sometime soon. We'll talk more about comfort zones, but I need to get this food in because I got leg day with the boys today, actually lifting with some friends. So I need to fuel up. It was a late start this morning, but I did eat breakfast. And now I'm going to pound two burgers and a shake. So if you saw in the beginning, I'm soaking my knee sleeves with laundry detergent because... Bro, they're so stinky, and then like, they smell, I smell fine, I put on my knee sleeves to work out, I take them off, my knees smell like butt crack. Not even butt crack, just like super strong BO. Like, like, a, like an obese man. So I'm gonna let the water go down, and then I'm just gonna run water over them to try to like, get the soap out. And then hopefully I can throw these in the dryer and have them ready in time, if not... We go in naked knees, which is crazy because I actually have been taking time off legs because my knees were so messed up. Yeah, I was painting my knees right below the kneecaps and it would spark up usually after squats, even deadlifts, but also if I just went out and played horse with the homies, just jumping to shoot a basketball would fuck them up. But I think I've taken enough time off that if I can be strategic getting back into legs and getting back into recovery, I'll be Gucci. But it's currently 3.07. I need to be at the gym at 4 because I'm lifting with the boys, but I need to meditate. That's one thing I've gotten back on track with since Chicago. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but like I recommend meditation to everyone. But yeah, that's another thing about comfort zone is you might not be comfortable sitting alone with your thoughts for even five minutes. And nowadays, because of phones, we really don't have to. We can be stimulated all day if we choose. And there are some days, especially if I'm just not having a good day mentally, or if I fell off of meditation for a day or two, that it's hard to get back into it. I'm literally uncomfortable trying to sit, trying to focus on my breathing, trying not to let thoughts run my mind. But every time afterwards, I'm super grateful I did it. So try it out. Try meditating right now. Do it. Not right now. Watch the video, but then do it. Okay, just take your seat and Close your eyes. Become aware of the sensation of sitting. All right, so pre-workout, we are gonna have an Alani New, which they don't make good pre-workout, but when it comes to an energy drink, I'm less concerned about having 20 stacked ingredients. I'm more concerned about, does it taste good? And does it give me energy? And to supplement that, we're gonna be taking some Alpha GPC for the focus benefits, as well as NOXT, for nitric oxide pump blood flow. If it was like an upper body day and I was recording, I would take pump surge, but since it's legs, I really don't care about having too crazy of a pump. I'll do six, how about six? Six, 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 six. Now I gotta chill with the sixes. That's some Illuminati shit. Two of these is 300. Let's do four. Four. Just my bad, I didn't know you were in the splash zone. Can't say I never squirted on you. What's up, guys? What's up, Kenny? No, I, I, I start with something to change Yeah, no, like when I used right. to squat, bro. Yeah, like it opens when up I, your hips and yeah. stretches them out like crazy. I mean, like, I'll open up your hips, like, if, like... No, we can start with the sus machine. Yeah, sus machine, yeah. bro. Yeah. Trust. Trust. We ain't squatting, though. No, no. We ain't squatting, though. It's, like, weird, especially for, like, one night stands, but I'll just, like, ask straight up and be like, yo, can I pop, use your leg to, like, pop my hips, bro? I'll just grab it. Fucking pop that shit. I don't mind doing it deliberately, but when I'm doing this and it randomly happens, I think my dick just exploded or something. Alpha Land finally got a bunch of new equipment at Gym One. It's all prime and it's all customizable to where you can make it harder at the beginning, harder at the middle, or harder at the end of the rep, which is so nice. I'm not gonna lie, when this gym originally opened, I was a little disappointed with the equipment. A lot of it's just old and recycled, which is fine, but for what we're paying and for the spectacle that Alpha Land is, I was a little let down, but not anymore. The prime shit go hard. Go. All right, boys, let's go. <laughs> these uh, these Alphalea shorts, the mesh on the crotch is a little thin when I do that, so I'm kind of showing the boys the sack. I don't see any complaints. No complaints over here. Any no. complaints? 
Ain't no complaints. Any ain't complaints? No compl ain't no complaints at all. It's like a fucking roller coaster, bro. Yeah, right? Yo, this is nice! There's like an ascension to it, like you're going upwards. It's actually, it's kind of fun. Bro. It's actually insane. Done this before, it's like a new fancy leg press. Let's go, baby. Come on. Up, up, yep. Post game interview, honestly. My shots were boo-boo today, I'm not gonna lie. Typically, like, I'm pretty decent, especially like, the mid-range jumpers, but today they just weren't falling, not in horse, and then the game, I made some cool shots, but I was also, like, my touch around the rim was just non-existent. But I had the game winner, so maybe that's all that matters. I'm not gonna lie to you, I did not get out of bed until 12 today. Essentially, I woke up earlier, like when my alarm was supposed to go off, and I had a headache, and I was like, oh, I'll lay down a little longer. There was no alarm set, I woke up. Late. But you can probably hear it in my voice though. I do think I'm actually kind of sick. It's not like a contagious thing I could probably go train and stuff. It's just congestion mucus whatnot But it is now 1 p.m. And we are very behind on everything. I have not had a bite of food or a sip of water Hence the liquid IVs. I also just weighed myself and I was 180. Granted I'm dehydrated right now, but still that, that, that's so frustrating I know you're probably thinking, oh look, big and self-improvement guy, didn't get up till 12. But honestly, this never happens. I think it was, I really just didn't have an alarm set. But I mean, there's no excuse. I definitely could have made the decision to just get up when my alarm went off, which was like 7.20, 7.30. And I decided to lay back down because I thought I was still tired and I didn't feel good. But the thing is, usually when people say, oh, I woke up tired, I need more sleep. Usually it's just because you're not giving your body a chance to actually wake up. You need to get up, move around, have the sunlight enter your eyes. And honestly, waking up late is one of the worst things on my mental. You Usually if it's even like eight something, nine, I f start getting crazy anxiety. I'm like, oh, my day's ruined. I fumbled the whole day. Like I'm a piece of shit. Honestly, now that I'm hearing myself out loud, it's just a matter of getting up when my alarm goes off and not being like, oh, I'm gonna sleep for an extra 30 minutes. It's just, I need to just get up regardless of how I feel. But we can't change the past. It's 1 p.m. We need food.
just me or when y'all tan, do y'all like stuff your junk in a sock because you're scared of the UV rays on your wee wee and your balls? And circling back to comfort zones, the thing about it is everyone kind of knows, oh yeah, you should push out of your comfort zone. But usually when people think about that, they think about, oh, I should try skydiving or bungee jumping. But the thing is, I can guarantee that almost everyone watching this video right now is in a certain comfort zone one way or another. It could be you're currently in a job that you know doesn't fulfill you and doesn't align with your goals and your dreams. However, you stay in it because the income is steady and you can tolerate existing there for eight hours a day. And a big part of self-improvement is just recognizing these little comfort zones in your life and breaking out of them. It could be getting out of bed at seven when it's cold and you wanna stay under the covers until like 10. It could be deciding today I'm gonna read some of this book, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna go for a walk, when your brain is used to you scrolling on TikTok or playing Warzone. Even in the gym, you may find yourself, you've gotten into a routine, you have these certain machines you like because they feel good and you're good at them, but maybe there's another movement that you don't touch because you know you're gonna have to start at a lower weight and it's gonna hurt your ego. Reflecting on my personal life, I don't think I've ever pushed out of my comfort zone and regretted it. I feel like every time I grow as a person, even if the results aren't exactly what you expect. This past year, especially 2022, I feel like I have grown a tremendous amount as a person. I found myself more confident, more driven, thinking bigger, thinking big picture goals. I've made friends down here in Houston that I'm super grateful for, and it's actually crazy to think how many people I know and talk to when just a couple years ago, I was going to school with this social anxiety that, yes, I had friends, I would talk to them stuff, but I was always over analyzing and stressing out about every little interaction. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. And I just wanna ask you to try to observe some comfort zones that you've fallen into in your life and contemplate what you can do to start to ease out of that and push your boundaries and grow as a person. Also, if you have any personal experiences to add on to this topic or just something to say in general about the video, please comment below. Two videos are gonna pop on the screen right now and and all I ask is that you consider watching one of them and thank you.